Hey guys, it's Hugh here, and I've got to tell you about my cool program, ICC Express 2.0. This is an awesome software. It's sort of like the Swiss Army knife of curation tools. You really have no idea all the crazy different things that this thing can do. The main thing that it's going to do for you, though, is really just make it easy to make cool curated content if that's what you want to do. Let me just show you how quick and easy it is to make curated content on my website. Four easy steps. Now let's go step one. We're just going to select one of our profiles over and you can have as many or as few as you want or as your license allows you. You can have up to 100 with a developer edition in one installation. Once you've selected your profile, you want to come over to the blog curation section and basically you're ready to curate right out of the box. You know, depending on what it is that you want to curate, I'm going to go ahead and just select something like uh, pop feeds here for the category in my blog. And then I'm going to use Rolling Stone Magazine RSS, which is already built in. We've got a lot of different feeds built in music, sports, fashion, technology, news, food, business, photos, arts and culture, travel, style, entertainment. They're all here for you to get content from it. How do you do it? Well, once you've selected the one that you want, all you have to do is click on this news icon right here and it opens a bunch of stories, current stories. Now, all you want to do is select a story that you think will be interesting to your viewers or your readers. And in this case, I think I'm going to choose this story here called Mike Huckabee Blasts Obama's for Letting Daughters Listen to Beyonce. And you've got a couple of different options here, but what they're going to do is just deposit some text from that article into your editor in a nicely formatted way so you can do your curation, your narration, you can add a few things to the post and then immediately post it. And let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to choose the T, the blue T icon because it inserts the curated content with a templating style one that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that and the content appears in your editor window and it's a really nice editor you can do whatever you want with it you can change the shape you can maximize it to your whole window if you want to or you know do whatever you want to really edit that stuff you can go back and forth between the source html and the visual just like in wordpress and uh, the thing is you've already got this uh formatted you do want to change your your title up here. So I'm just going to go uh, sort of change that up just a little bit. Should Mike hug me less Obama? And I can leave that in by Rolling Stone or just leave it out. It's going to be kind of trailing a little too much. So we'll just we're already giving Rolling Stone lots of props here. We've got this link here as the source, and we've also got a link directly back to that article, which is really what Google wants you to do when you're doing curation. And Google really likes it when you do this stuff because you're providing a real convergence of information that they can then offer to their users as a real thing of value. Uh, if any time you want to see where that article came from, you can just click on Source Monitor here. And in just a few seconds, the article will appear and you can actually read it. Uh, you know, see what's going on with the article. Learn a few things about it. Select some of it if you want to copy this and put it into your post over here. You can just do that in there. I'm just if I want to add an image, I can just go ahead and click right up here. And of course, it's got my keyword, which is pop beats. But what I think I'm really going to do here is I'm going to try to go to uh, Wiki Commons and maybe look up Huckabee. If I can't get Huckabee, I might get uh, o o the Obamas and put them in there because that's relevant. Believe it or not, this kind of thing, look at this, that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and click on the research button so I can just go over here and make sure that I have the rights to use this thing and it says here both PD which means public domain 
Okay, so that means they're completely free for me to use. And that's wonderful. And it really makes me feel good to know that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna do is store it on my blog first, which is a cool thing about what ICC Express lets you do with this. Other products don't really have this that I know of. Now, if we did have to add an attribution, I could do that right here and add it permanently to the photo, but I'm not gonna do that either. So I don't need to. Uh, so I'm just going to sort of zoom it to where I want and then I'm going to go ahead and upload that to my blog. You don't have to do that. You can hot link it, but it's I think it's better to actually grab it and stick it on your blog and then you can go ahead and insert that into your post. So now you have this image which is actually on your blog as well and it's part of your blog post and it can become the uh, the featured image of that post. Now obviously this is not a very slick opening so what I would do is write a little paragraph and let me just do that real quick. Okay so I took 30 seconds I just wrote this little personal article and uh, I was just saying you know that I think it's crazy all the, the way they keep going back and forth about it. It's like a culture war or whatever. Okay, so now down at the bottom here, I could actually add a video. Certainly, I don't want this particular line here. Um, I could ask them, you know, what do you, you know, what do you think about about the culture war? And we have some suggestions down here that you can use to find out more. You can just leave that in there, or you can share it or whatever. It's usually going to put a call to action. Okay, so I just kind of improvised a little. What do you think about this latest weirdness? Share this post. Let us know. And keep jamming. Beyonce does lay down some good pop beats. <laughs> so that sort of takes us back to the, uh, the keyword and the category that I'm I'm really going to put this in news, but actually we have pop beats, you know, as part of what we're trying to rank for with this website. So that'll just be another little keyword in there. Now we're going to go ahead and post and yeah, just click this button. If I want to go ahead and bookmark this post on my Beats for Days fan page, I will do that. In fact, I'm going to set it into the future, uh, maybe two days in a few hours and just set that so now this will automatically schedule that post actually but it's do is pay a uh, post to my blog get the permalink back and then bookmark that permalink on Facebook I could also do the Twitter I don't have Twitter set up right now so I'm gonna go ahead and post that post and now the post is done the Facebook post is done as well the Facebook post won't be visible until the date that it was scheduled, as you saw. But we can go and look at the blog post now. And here it is. Now this is, you know, very nice looking post. And uh, some of my readers may be very interested in reading about that. So super easy to make cool, relevant blog content with just a few clicks. I could go back now and select another profile and do the same thing. It would take me about 10-15 minutes per post. I could actually update three or four blogs in an hour with content that Google really rewards you for doing for the most part. If you do this regularly it really builds uh, an authority on your blog and ICC Express is about the easiest way to do it right out of the box. This is Hugh out. I'll see you in the next one.